Listen, if you clicked on this video, it's probably for a reason. I suggest you stick around. I'm eating mac and cheese. Annie's mac and cheese, you know, the good shit. I don't do KD. And I'm just gonna eat this mac and cheese because I got somewhere to be <laughs> and talk about why I got rid of all my spiritual stuff. I want you to know first, I did it temporarily. I still don't have them around me. But I did not throw anything out. I do believe that's kind of bad karma, but I also wasn't fully ready to part. So I'm gonna get into why I did get rid of my spiritual tools. I haven't had anything with me for the past like two months, I would say, maybe even more. If you're new to my channel, I'm a very spiritual person. I love my crystals. I have over 45 crystals, maybe like oh, even 100. I have crystal jewelry, everything. I have figurines of spiritual stuff. I have glass pyramids to boost my manifestations. I have sage, I have Palo Santo, I have incense, I have a singing bowl, I have it all, okay? I've spent hundreds, hundreds on spiritual tools and I love them but hmm I don't know man I don't know if they're for me right now let's talk about why firstly if you're new here my name is Ashley I make videos on spirituality mindfulness I do cooking videos fashion videos vlogs comedy everything I do it all but I definitely focus heavily on spirituality and making spirituality simple for other people who are getting started on their spiritual journey all right let's talk so a couple months ago I was going through it. I was really going through it. I was depressed, actually. It was the first time in my life that no external factors were making me depressed. Usually I'm depressed because I go through a breakup or because, you know, I have a, a major life change that's happening, like, like moving out of my parents and living alone or losing a best friend, you know, something sad that will cause my depression. But a couple months ago, I was depressed and I could not pinpoint why. Relationships in my life were fulfilling. I just moved to a beautiful condo downtown Toronto that I love. I'm living my city girl dreams, you know. I love my job, I'm in therapy, all these things. But I was feeling depressed. I was doing all the things too. I was waking up, manifesting, meditating, scripting, um, using my crystals, doing guided meditations, like guided hypnosis, all those things, using my sage, using my cleansing tools. I was doing it all. So I was like, why am I doing all this stuff and I still feel depressed? <laughs> I would meditate and I feel like I couldn't even focus on meditating because I just want to cry. And I really started to depend on all my spiritual tools to like keep me sane. So for example, I felt like I couldn't meditate before cleansing the air, cleansing myself, grabbing my favorite crystals, putting them on my body, focusing on the energy points in my body where my crystals are lying and meditate like that. I felt like I couldn't just like sit in stillness anymore, which I used to do. I felt this dark energy around me. I felt depressed, I felt weird. I don't know, I just didn't feel good. So I tried cleansing everything and putting it in the moonlight, stuff like that, and, and I just didn't feel good. So then, my friend and I were like talking about God and stuff, and um, just about how like there's no, none of those like tools in the Bible and things like that. Didn't go heavy into it. I am a Christian, I've always been a Christian. I'm spiritual. And I'll always be spiritual. That's not going anywhere. I do believe that the two can coexist. Let me know what you think on that in the comments, by the way. Do you think it's one or the other? Or do you think that they can like coexist? Anyways, so I just started getting freaked out because we we're having like these deep talks about God and I don't know, like witchcraft, things like that. Nothing wrong with witchcraft or anything. I just personally don't like to get too deep into astrology because I don't, I don't, I don't have the interest to do the research and I don't want to be irresponsible in any practices. You know what I mean? I think if someone's going to get into witchcraft, great, but you need to know what you're doing because if you practice, you know, in a way that is not responsible or um, if you're not educated, you can fuck up your life. I truly believe that because witchcraft is very real. You can bring in amazing things with it, but you can also bring in really bad things. Um, it's like equal. So. I personally don't have the interest in doing the research or learning or this or that. I feel like I could use my time on other things. So it's because of that that I don't touch witchcraft because I don't want to fuck up. <laughs> I don't want to fuck my life up accidentally because I'm not being responsible. So yeah, if you are getting into witchcraft, just make sure you're doing it properly. Find a mentor, get the right books, do your research and just, you know, be smart about it because it is a very real thing. Karma is a very real thing. You just got to be careful, you know, look out for yourself. So anyways. I tend to stay away from that. But like for some reason I was going through this weird moment where like I suddenly saw every spirituality thing as like, oh my god, I'm inviting bad energy. Oh my god, like what if I'm so depressed because I'm inviting the energy and it's latching to my spiritual tools and all these things. And the more I entertained that thought, the more bad energy I was feeling around me. Suddenly my crystals like 
they didn't feel good they felt like they were carrying bad energy no matter how much i cleansed them um i was getting these weird like intrusive thoughts and just i don't i don't know it didn't feel good i was really depressed and things in my life weren't going well and i feel like i was just inviting all this energy and it was latching to all of my spiritual tools i don't know why and another weird thing is like i couldn't find my tarot cards anywhere i could not find my tarot cards anywhere for months it was the weirdest thing um there's like a whole little story behind that that i shared in another video but i couldn't find them anywhere and i was like kind of like what the fuck like i just i just want some guidance because i felt like i needed answers and i was relying on my tarot cards my oracle cards and like crystals and all that to give me answers and to help me meditate and all these things i was just relying on it but i also felt like it wasn't giving me what i wanted and it was just giving me more negativity and i was like i need i need a break i need a break i need to get these out of my sight i just i need a break so then one day i just took every single crystal i have i took my singing bowl i took my oracle cards i took everything everything out the only thing i have left in my room which it sucks because like that was also kind of like my decor um the only thing i have left in my room is angel figurines because my aunt got those at the church um a salt lamp which i just it's just salt so i don't really feel as much energy from that it's more of like an air purifier and i couldn't let go of my tarot cards i did find them eventually um i did and i don't use them as much right now but i do like to have them for like last minute guidance anyway so I got rid of everything. I put it all in a bag and I put it in storage. Our storage unit is like in the basement, not basement, the underground parking garage. We have like lockers and storage in there. And so I just put it all away and locked it up. And it's like far, far, far from me. I'm like on the top floor of the building and it's all the way underground. So it is far from me. I haven't seen it in months. And I felt lighter. And I think that was the right choice. I was having so many crazy dreams and so many dark dreams i wasn't able to fall asleep because i literally this is gonna sound so crazy to some people but i literally felt like there was something like pulling me out of my body while i was trying to fall asleep it was almost like i was on the brink of lucid dreaming where i was losing consciousness and losing like my senses and my body and i couldn't like move it was weird and i felt like i couldn't even sleep i was having nightmares i was so on edge and just falling asleep was like torture to me because i constantly felt like i was like being like possessed almost it was so crazy i don't even know how to explain it i literally felt like my body was i don't even know and like i hate making this video because i know the spiritual servant is going to see my video and probably use it in one of his videos there's this youtuber that likes to take my spiritual content and talk shit and review them on his channel and just completely defame my name slander me and say the most awful things and look down on me and judge me if you're watching this you do not have permission to use my content anyways um i felt like i was being possessed and it was kind of scary i was like what the hell listen i don't know if it was my spiritual tools or not i don't know if it was my crystals i don't know but what i do know is that i was in a dark place and when i got rid of them i felt better i felt lighter it almost felt like my room was filled with smoke and somebody cleared all the smoke out and now I felt lighter and like I could see and it was clearer. I don't know how to explain it. My dream stopped, the weird feeling stopped. Not only that, but I also had an attachment to these things, like I said. So I learned how to seek all the answers within. I am all that I need. I am all that I need. Do these things help me? Yes, I do believe they do, but I'm all that I need and i learned how to meditate in silence in stillness without my crystals without my singing bowl i learned how to cleanse myself with just like a simple incense or you know i learned how to silence my thoughts again i learned how to seek answers to my questions within without constantly relying on my tarot deck or my wisdom oracle cards or something i learned so much about myself and i just built a deeper connection with myself and I think that was really necessary for me. I don't know what caused all the dark feelings and thoughts. I don't know. And I'm going to give my crystals another chance. I am. Because I really do believe that they helped me. And in years and years of using them, like that was the first time I'd really gone through that. So maybe it was just some other 
like shadow stuff that was coming up or like a dark night of the soul i don't know i don't know what was happening all i know is that like when i got rid of it it did stop but i do want to give it another chance i think maybe in a few weeks i'll start introducing stuff back to my room like maybe a couple crystals at a time maybe my my chakra set or my sage and just like see how i feel about it i don't think i'm gonna bring everything back but i do think i'm gonna bring like maybe like five of my favorite crystals i miss my carnelian man I miss my rose quartz. Do you know how much rose quartz was attracting people into my life? Oh my god, it was working so magic. This is my own personal experience, okay? I'm not saying that these things are evil at all. Because I love them. I'm not saying you should get rid of them. I'm just saying that if you're going through something similar to what I was experiencing, it won't hurt to, you know, take a little break for a while, focus on yourself and your inner self, and come back to it when you feel like you're ready. And see what changes you know maybe the universe was just trying to send me some signs so that i could learn how to like seek answers within or trust myself a little more and maybe it just needed to do that in, in order for me to part ways with my spiritual tools for a moment i don't know i don't know but i suggest that you look into it if you feel similarly to how i did but anyways that is my story and that's what happened i'll keep you guys posted on when i bring all my spiritual stuff back up and like how i feel if anyone's interested that is let me know if that's something you want to see if you want an update on that i'm thinking maybe june i might bring stuff back up i don't really know yet but we we will see pretty much done right when i'm finishing the video which means i can literally like brush my teeth drink some water and head out that's lovely but anyways guys i hope that this video helped you in some way i'm so sorry if you feel like offended by anything i said or if, like i'm sorry if i offended you if i misspoke or if i was careless with my words i don't mean to be i'm still learning about some stuff you know so feel free to politely politely correct me if you know i said something that was triggering i don't really know i think that youtube is such a different space now i've been on youtube for about 13 years with like seven different channels and and i sometimes still navigate through this site like it was 10 years ago where i'm just a little careless i don't i don't know sometimes like what i can and can't say feel free to like call me out um in a nice way if i need to be called out but yeah anyways thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope that you're not craving mac and cheese now because of me that was really good I love Annie's. Anyways, I'm going to go head out, work on my website, get some new merch up for you guys, and just have a good day. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.